Hello everyone and welcome to a very late in the month review slash unboxing of my Sephora play. My goodness, this was a late one this month. Sephora play is so unpredictable. I feel like sometimes we get it like around the 10th of the month and sometimes we get it around the 20th, 25th of the month, like this month. So I apologize that this came so late to me, but I just got it in the mail last night. So I'm excited. I'm going to open it up for you guys. We're going to see what's inside. If you guys are new to my channel, Sephora play, whatever, it is just Sephora's monthly subscription box where you get six deluxe, well, you get five deluxe samples of beauty products. It can be skincare, makeup, that sort of stuff. And then you also get a little perfume sample. Well, sometimes it's perfume and every now and then I guess they've done like little crappy rippy sample packets of shampoo and conditioner. That's always kind of like a throwaway product for me, but I have been introduced to some really good perfumes through it. So let's crack on into it. It is $10 a month plus tax wherever you are living. Each one is kind of like themed for the month, you know, or at least, I don't know. Sometimes I don't get it, but it looks like this one is all about love because Valentine's Day was in February. So I don't know. We've got something that says a date and love and also eyeliner being a work of art. Okay. Oh, cute. Okay. It just says, apparently, grab some scissors and spread the good vibes by sharing these little things. So like little coupons and like, you're a good friend and your eyebrows are amazing. <laughs> That's really cute. It reminds me of like when, you know, like Valentine's Day would come around in elementary school and you would have to make a little box and put in a Valentine for everyone in your class. Anyways, so you get a Sephora play, a play pass in these bags and basically you can bring this into a Sephora and some people say you have to make a purchase some people say you don't I'm pretty sure on the card it says you have to make a purchase but some people say you can just go in and they'll scan this in depends on the person working at the register but that you will get 50 extra beauty insider points with this pass I wish I feel like it's about time that they would make it so you can redeem those online but they have yet to do so. Oh, the little bag is so cute on this one. So inside of the box, you get a bag. This one is super cute. It just says, feel the love. And it's got a little, a beautiful person in a heart shape with the hair as a heart. Oh, that's so sweet. That's super duper cute. I love these bags. I use them like when I'm traveling, you know, I can put jewelry in here or makeup, whatever. I also love like using it for gifts for friends and stuff. I personally really like these bags. So I always try and find the perfume sample first. I don't, I don't know that that's, okay, I think this is the perfume sample. <laughs> Here we go, okay, so we've got Tori Birch, Love Relentlessly. If I told you that I love you, would you hold it against me? Isn't that a song? It doesn't say what the notes are or anything for this, but let's see. Spray the card here. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nice. I'm not offended by it. It's just a very light, citrusy, slightly powdery, more than slightly powdery. Floral? Yeah, kind of like a soft. It's It gives you that like soft, like you're rubbing your face in a blanket kind of a feeling. Yeah, it's nice. It, it smells pretty generic, if you ask me, but I'm not offended. So, moving on to the good stuff here, you guys. Let's see, I'm gonna go for this box first, this skinny box. What do we got? Have we gotten this like three times now, I feel like? Unless I'm wrong, unless this is a different one from Lanco. But I feel like we've gotten this before. Maybe it's in a different color. Cut de zur. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but let's see. This is the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil Eyeliner, Longwear Eyeliner. We've gotten two of the black one. Okay, so at least it's a different color. This is a blue eyeliner, which I actually really love. I love wearing these kinds of liners in my waterline, these nice like bright blues. This is a really nice like cobalt, punchy, delightful blue. So that's actually really nice. I'm okay with that. That I'm pretty sure we've gotten this product before, but it's a different color. So I'm always down for more eye pencils. I really do like having a good variety in my collection. So yay for that. So now it feels like we've got some sort of a squeezy tube. What do we got? Ooh, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skincare Firm X Peeling Gel Gel Exfoliant. Cool, so it's an exfoliating mask, but it peels? Yeah, massage it in a circular motion to roll, lift, and sweep away dead skin cells. Ooh, that sounds really nice. So I'm excited about that. I do love a good mask, so that's that's nice. Hopefully there's a decent amount in here. I can't really like see through it or anything, like looking through the sunlight, but 
but fingers crossed I can get at least a couple masks out of that. So moving on, we've got another squeezy tube here. What have we got? Another mask? It's a little confusing that there are two masks in the bed. Like that's a lot of masks, <laughs> but this is the Hello Fab Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask. Safe for sensitive skin. It says to use this three times a week. Holy crap. I mean, it doesn't say what it does, but I feel like for a vitamin C type of a thing, it would be like brightening maybe. I mean, at least I can see that this is full to the brim. That's nice. But again, I'm a little surprised that they would include two masks. Seems excessive. But I mean, at least I guess they're like different kinds of masks. So that's nice. So two products left here. Do I go for the little tubey thing or for the boxy thing? I think I'm going to go for the boxy thing. What do we got? We have gotten this actually quite recently before, I feel like. Hopefully it's a different color. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Matte, Matte High Pigmented Lipstick. I think it's in the shade M500. Ooh, that's a different shade. That is a dark wine color, like a brick wine Merlot plum. Wow, okay, it's been a while since I've worn that kind of a color of lipstick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like extra excited because like I said, I don't wear this kind of color of lipstick very often, but I do know that this is a very nice formula of lipstick. So I'm not like ultra disappointed, but I'm not ultra excited either. Do you get what I'm saying? Just because I've tried it before and it's not a shade that I'm going to wear on the regular, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me being picky. So last but not least here, you guys, we've got something that feels kind of like a crayon maybe. Nope. <sighs> we have gotten this and this exact shade quite recently, I feel like. This is the Sephora Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the shade Perfect Nude. Now, I will say, this is actually a very pretty gloss. It's super comfy. It lasts a decently long time for a gloss. I personally really love the texture and the color and everything of this, but I could not stand the smell. It just was not a pleasant smelling lip gloss. So I'll put this in a giveaway in the future for you guys. I'm like so disappointed that that would be included since I feel like that was very recently that we got this. So not gonna lie, I'm not like extra super hyper excited <laughs> about what we got in this box. I don't really see how this corresponds with February, but maybe after we read the packet, we will find out here. We got two masks, an eyeliner, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. And really the only thing that I'm like actually excited about trying is this like peeling exfoliating mask. I mean, like I said, I'm still excited about these products, but not as excited because I've tried them before in different colors. But let's see, let's go into this packet here. It says, feel the love. This month we're celebrating the beauty loves we just can't live without. Like oh so flattering lipstick and skincare that dreams are made of. Okay, haha, <laughs> yay for pun game eyes to the occasion, like rise to the occasion for the Lancome pencil. For the gloss, it is nude with attitude. The lipstick is lipsticks of the trade and it says that, psst, we've given you two lip products this month so you can share one with a friend. But that doesn't make sense. I don't feel like. Maybe if they would have included six products in here, you know, seven with the perfume, then I would feel like this lip gloss was an extra. The duplicate is an extra, but okay, okay. Maybe I'm just being salty. The Hello Fab mask is super food for thought. And it does say that it is to comfort and brighten stressed out skin. The peel off gel is radiance revealed and the perfume is love at first scent. Fragrance family is floral, Top notes of pink pepper, middle notes of rose and orris, and base notes of sandalwood. A sparkling fragrance of pink pepper, patchouli, and dewy rose that captures the first butterflies of love. I'm actually surprised I'm not more offended by the perfume because I typically hate patchouli and rose scents. So, I mean, like I said, I'm never gonna wear this, 
but I'm not offended by the smell that is lingering around me right now. So not super excited about this month's box. However, I do love doing these Sephora play unboxings. I do think they're fun and just, you know, for 10 bucks a month, it's fun for me just to see what they send. Sometimes it's a complete crapshoot. Well, it's always kind of a crapshoot, but sometimes you get some treasures in that crap. Sometimes it's just crappy crap and whatever. And I know a lot of you guys requested that I start doing BoxyCharm as well. I just got off their wait list, so I think next month should be my first month and I'll be able to do a BoxyCharm versus Sephora play slash I'll just unbox them in the same video. So I'm super excited to do that with you guys. Well, actually, yeah, I'm not sure. If the box comes next month, like around the same time Sephora play comes, then I'll do it in the same one. I think they might be sending me one before then, so I think I might just have like a lone BoxyCharm review type of a thing, but I'm really excited. You guys really want me to unbox them and they do always look like fantastic boxes. So I'm excited to start incorporating that in with Sephora Play and just see how it goes. So yeah, as always, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing what came in this month's Sephora Play box. Did you love yours? Do you get Sephora Play? Do you not? What do you not like about it? I just love hearing from you guys. I also love hearing if you do get these boxes, what products you got in your box, because Sephora does send different products to different people. So let me know in the comments below what you got. And yeah, I think that's about it, like I said. So if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.